Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. About a month ago, I did this video where I put the AI bullet onto the tree and there was a very specific reason for that. Lots of people were losing their mind why I was putting a cable on the ground, especially an indoor cable outside, and then I was putting a camera onto my tree. Well, now we could finally talk about it. The AI bullets along with a couple other AI cameras now have license plate reading. So this functionality just came out this morning on a Unify Protect update, which we're going to dive into because there is a huge list of improvement and bug fixes. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do so is to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at MacTelecomNetworks.com and you can support me in other ways. I do have affiliate links down in the description below. This new release is Unify Protect Application 2.7.18. This does only work on Unify OS 3.0. So as of right now, the UDM pros cannot use this. Ubiquity is still working on the migration from 1.0 to 2.0 and then from 2.0 to 3.0. So hopefully we see that sooner than later so that people on UDM pros can use these new features in Protect. I'm gonna scroll down through the release so you can see how big it actually is. There's so many improvements and bug fixes, as you could tell, going down. And then we have all these bug fixes and we have a couple known issues but let's get into my UNVR Pro. So on the main dashboard, I believe this is new. So it shows us our device group, but then it has detections, sound, and motion sensitivity. So if we scroll over the top, it's gonna tell us a couple things. It will show us what the sound level is at on the G4 Pro or different cameras that I'm cycling over. I have the majority of the smart detection thumbnails blurred out because it does show license plate readings right on this dashboard. As you can tell right here, this one vehicle, it is picking up its license plate and we'll take a look deeper at the AI bullet and how it does that. Before we go into the license plate reading, I wanna show something else that's really cool with this update. We could share a camera's live view feed just by our URL. So let's go over to my G4 bullet camera that's in my backyard. I'll click on the camera and then we'll go over to settings. If we scroll down, we could now see the share live stream. I'll click on the drop down menu and then we're gonna activate that dropdown. Now it's giving us a link for monitor.ui.com and a bunch of different random numbers. I'm gonna copy the link and then I'll put it into the web browser. All right, now that's sharing the monitor.ui.com and that's a really great feature. So you could really share this to anybody who you want to view the camera. I'm really glad that they added that in there. I think it will come in handy for a lot of people. Now let's take a look at the feature that I'm most excited for, which is the license plate detections. And this is only available for the AI bullet, the AI theta and the AI DSLR. The license plate detection is found under smart detection. So we need to click on the AI bullet and then go to recording mode. Under recording mode, we have detections to record. There is another new feature, which is the smoke slash CO alarm. And we'll take a look at that in a second. But beside that, we can see the license plate and it's already active because I've been testing this for probably a month. Now to look at the detections, we need to go over to the left-hand pane and then look at the detection settings. I will show you the license plate detection working on something like a FedEx truck that is a public vehicle. I'm gonna be blurring out a lot of this so that I don't reveal anybody else's license plates. But we need to go over to vehicle and then we could go to display options. Clicking on display options, we have this new license plate detection type. I only have one AI bullet and that is on that tree. So we'll click that off. All right, so here's a clip of a UPS truck. I have slowed down the speed as the guy was going pretty quickly, but let's press play and see how the license plate detects. All right, and now we see the UPS truck coming in. We see the detection for the vehicle and now a blue license plate will show up and we can see that here and it's showing the license plate which is actually correct. I find about 60 to 70% of the time, the license plate reading is correct, but the other times it isn't correct. It does have a few of the numbers and letters that are right, but it depends on how fast people are going and the light level. At nighttime, this doesn't work at all as the IRs are reflecting off of the license plates. This would really work well in a parking garage where you're capturing the license plates coming in and out, where people are going slow, maybe going up to a gate. Now I'm back under detections and you could see that we have this filter for alarm. This is the CO filter and we could see that some of them have gone up and we could see that there's this icon here that says CO and that's because the cars were passing by the camera. The camera is only about a foot off the curb and there's cars driving by it all the time. So that was setting off the CO alarm. Now something else that's new that came in the update 3.0 is the logging. The logging has got a lot better for the UNVRs as well as the UDMSCs. We could see here all the admin activity and I signed in from the web in the iOS app. 
If we go under smart detections, we could see that a vehicle license plate has been detected and you could filter for that. You could just say plate and then it will show you all the times of license plate was captured. We'd see all the times that I've opened and closed doors and I really like how Ubiquity added more to the logging feature and it's only going to improve coming in the future. Now there's a huge long list of things that I didn't cover, but I will put the link to the release notes in the description below. But these were the top things for me for this Unify Protect update. I'm hoping they do improve the vehicle license plate detections as well as give us more functionality for the license plate readings. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.